Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the Final Cut. And the one we got for you on the block today for our cheesy sci-fi themed week is First Man Into Space, 1959, brought to us by director Robert Day, who tells the story of a naval test pilot who's piloting this manned rocket, and he wants to be the first man to actually break out of our stratosphere and into space. And well, on his one mission where he does accomplish this, it actually goes awry, and he ends up crashing and disappearing. At the same time, there's this strange monster roaming the countryside, causing cattle mutilations, among other things, and we get to see the story play out from there, the mystery of where the pilot went and where did this creature come from. Oh, man, is this a classic example of fear of space. Now, this, out of all the films we reviewed, probably has the biggest budget, okay, with the special effects of the rocket, you know, with the little flame, <laughs> like someone's got a match on the back of it, you know, it's got a rocket against a space screen and the alien effects on the guy and the huge plane props, and so this one really definitely has the feel of a big budgeted type sci-fi film, although they did have still limited props, so they have min minimum props, uh, you know, an air tank and that, but they do the best with it, and, and with the dialogue, which is great, they use this dialogue to try to sell how sensitive this equipment is when you can tell it's, it's just this box with really a knob on it, but... By the way they describe it, man, that's an important box with a knob on it. So I love that aspect of it. Uh, also what was great in this uh, was the the uh, makeup effects they did on the alien. Uh, alien beast guy, whatever, that's roaming the countryside. They did really good there. Uh, it definitely gives this creepy feel. Uh, kind of looked uh, you know, like he had this multiple meal type look on his face. Definitely looked great in black and white, though I'm sure probably didn't look too good in color. Uh, you get the scientist in here. You always got a scientist in most of these sci-fis, and this one is no different, and he's German. Of course he's German, because all scientists, like in these 50s sci-fi films, had to be German. Not sure why the big appeal for German scientists, but they were German and they knew it all and could explain it all as well. Uh, you know, it, but not only do you have the whole monster alien angle thing, but they do actually develop some characters uh, a little bit further than what we've seen in other the cheesy sci-fi films. You get a conflict between the brothers, the test pilot, and his commander brother who is ranked over him, um, you know, and they butt heads all the time and his brother pulling rank occasionally. So you get a little story there, a little depth there. And then you even get a little love interest going on between the test pilot and his Italian girlfriend. Uh, you know, and so you get get some depth in there too. It's not just about the scary space alien, okay, which uh, a lot of these sci-fi films ended up being just about that. No, they actually developed their characters as well. This film also had a huge marketing campaign behind it, including posters and models and, and definitely trying to promote this film. So definitely uh, probably the biggest of the films that we reviewed during chi cheesy sci-fi theme week. Uh, and it's definitely worth your time, I think. I think you'll enjoy it if you like the old classic films. It is a true solid film. Uh, not, uh, you know, you can laugh and, and how dated the special effects are, but the story is interesting and the characters will keep you uh, wanting to see them succeed uh, at, until the very end of the film, which is nice in, uh, that you don't always get out of these cheesy sci-fi movies. And that'll about do it for us here at the final cut. Till next time, keep the 